hello everyone welcome to coder and boots so in this video we are going to discuss about how to know your linux system so in majority of the cases linux systems appears without gui so uh, most of the people uh, who uses uh, linux operating system in their laptop they use uh, the one with uh, graphical user interface especially like operating systems like ubuntu uh, desktop everything so people uses the graphical user interface but in case of servers uh, people generally uh, they do we do not install the graphical user interface because we can make it uh, like i mean optimize or make it more efficient because we don't really need to uh, consume any any resources just for running the gui and also we never use that okay because mostly people access the system using the terminal and we never use the graphical user interface personally in my case as well i have i manage several hundreds of servers and in any of the servers i don't install the gui so i'll explain you how to understand the linux system through the black command line or the terminal okay so the reason why i'm saying is because a lot of users struggle to understand uh, about the system while interacting through or while working through the black screen so in case of windows operating system or even in case of uh, the linux with linux operating system with the gui so by checking the look and feel you can understand what that operating system is for example in in this uh, here i have my uh, laptop with windows operating system and if you see by checking the look and feel of this operating system itself you know it's a windows 10 right so windows 11 has a different look and feel windows uh, 10 has a different look and feel xp has a different look and feel right vista has a different look and feel so similarly anything with gui based you will be able to understand what it is but in case of linux the uh, even the same version of the linux it may have a different depending upon the shell that you have the interfaces might look different okay so it will be always a black screen for example if you see here so i have accessed uh, i am accessing a linux machine using putty okay so what i can see here is what you can see here is basically a terminal black terminal with a shell okay this is a uh, bash shell so it has a shell and we are just interacting with the machine so by looking at this shell there is nothing it is just showing like i mean what is the username and what's the host name nothing else okay so uh, but through this interface we, we we will be able to get to know everything about this machine that is what we are going to talk about right now okay the first thing is host name as you can see over here so whatever you are seeing is the logged in username okay at the right the host name so the coder ubuntu is the host name okay so there is a command also for that if you type host name you will get the host name of the particular uh, machine okay so and also you can see all the aliases okay if there is something else as well uh, all the aliases and the mappings that is present as part of uh, in this machine okay so if you open slash etc host you will see all the mappings the local mappings okay anything in the uh, in like i mean the uh, the the network or anything outside this machine you will not be able to figure it out but any any mapping uh, that is within the system you will be able to figure it out but host name gives the uh, uh, the host name of this machine and all the mapping the local mappings you can see in the slash etc host file okay then then the second important information is the ip address okay ip address in case of linux machine is if config if you type if config so irrespective of uh, whether it is uh, red hat or ubuntu or uh, fedora or in almost all the machines if config is a standard almost all versions of uh, linux if config is a standard command okay so if you type if config it will give you uh, the ip address it's not just ip address it will give first uh, you can see various sections over here each of the section is the basically an interface okay it's a network interface so there are some virtual network interfaces as well as physical network interfaces for uh, me basically this is the network interface that i have that is connected to my router okay and there are some other uh, network interfaces uh, basically i run kubernetes in kubernetes and docker inside this uh, vm that's why you see a lot of other network interfaces and you can see the ip addresses associated with that network interface as well so here this is my network interface which is connected to my router and this is the ip address corresponding to that similarly the each interface has a different ip okay so you 
you will get the complete details of the network interface okay so then the net mask okay the mac address all those information uh, you you can get from here okay if config and let's say if you sometimes when you type if uh, config what happens is uh, if config if you type sometimes what happens is you will see command not found okay the reason is if config it usually gets installed as part of in case of ubuntu it is apt get install net tools okay so there will be a package that uh, that basically brings this if config okay in my case it was already installed that's why you see net net tools net hyphen tools is already the latest version and it is present okay in case of machines where you don't have uh, uh, you don't have if config available and you don't have option to install any package you can use something called ip space addr okay ip space addr and this will give you again the same info okay so this will have the interfaces listed you can see one two three four okay the interfaces listed and this is my our interface which is connected to a router and you can see the ip address as well okay so this gives the ip address next important thing we need to understand what is the operating system of this right so operating system uh, so this command works in red hat as well as ubuntu lsp underscore lease hyphen a okay so if you type this command lsb underscore release hyphen a it gives the operating system name okay and the version here if you see ubuntu 24.04 lts that's the operating system version and uh, it's the uh, operating system details okay in case of red hat systems there is something called slash etc slash system release okay there is something called slash etc uh, system release okay so that file is not there in case of ubuntu but in case of red hat you can uh, check for something like star okay so yeah it's over here as well so cat slash etc star release so you will see a file this it's basically coming from uh, a file within slash etc directory and that file has uh, the name operating system name version and the complete details of it okay so this gives so you have two options one is lsb release hyphen a second cat etc slash star hyphen release okay this works in red hat uh, centos uh, oracle linux okay ubuntu all these operating systems this works so you can try these commands okay you, you will be able to get the os name from one of these commands then the next important thing is OS architecture okay so nowadays almost every machines are 64 bit okay but uh, when I started my career there were like I mean 32 bit machines and 64 bit machines similarly there were 32 bit operating systems and 64 bit operating systems okay so for getting the details of uh, first of all the CPU architecture and the operating system architecture so what the best option is you name hyphen a okay so this you name hyphen a uh, you will see first of all it will give an idea what is the operating system it, do, it will not give you like I mean the actual flavor of operating system it just gives us an idea this is Linux anyway we know this is Linux right so then if you go to the remaining part you can see something called x86 underscore 64 x86 underscore 64 all these so these are all 64 bit operating system okay so if it is arm okay so uh, arm based okay so then that gives like i mean the details of arm arm based okay so you name is a command and you can check how the options available as part of you name using you name space hyphen hyphen help so you can check kernel name okay kernel release kernel version machine processor okay all these details operating system operate this won't give you the exact operating system detail it just tells i mean whether it is a linux or what type of operating system it is for getting the actual name you have to use either cat slash etc hyphen uh, slash star release or lsb release okay so this is about uh, the os architecture os details kernel details everything okay so you can get all this information using you name command next important information is disk okay how will you know how much disk you have in a machine 
so that is the simple command is df hyphen h okay so this will tell you all the mounted directories okay all the partitions and its uh, total size how much used how much available okay so here if you see i just type df hyphen h okay hyphen h gives you the data in the human readable format human readable format means the sizes in kbs mbs gbs everything okay if i don't use hyphen h what will happen is it will give all in some number you see this number this will be all in kbs so i have to be will have to convert it to into like i mean gbs everything so the best option is just use hyphen h it gives us in the human readable format by default i think it is in bytes okay yeah so and you can see all the file systems on the left size used available okay how much is available how much is the percentage use and where is it mounted okay so this is like i mean the partition uh, so this is like i mean the disk file system and this is where it is mounted okay so here you will get the complete data another thing is related to disk is uh, we can list down all the block devices available or attached to this machine ls blk so this will list all the okay all the disks associated with this okay ls blk so this will list all the block devices associated with this you can see sda there is a partition and it is it has i mean basically um, the slash okay and it has to the partition 23 gb okay and the no the slash has 11.5 gb and the the parent partition has see this disk is around 25 gb and inside that slash boot 2 gb okay and something goes to 23 gb and uh, then the slash takes around 11.5 gb okay and rom read only memory goes it's almost like i mean 1024m that means i mean it's almost like a gb right so this is how like i mean the lsblk gives and another thing is uh, f disk f disk is a utility that is for performing partitioning uh, partitioning okay so using this as well we can do list all the partitions okay so what we can do is f disk hyphen l it will list all the partitions so it will give you the data about like i mean the details of the partitions available in this okay and the physical devices okay all all the disk related information we will get from f disk okay lsblk and df but in layman terms if you just need to understand how much of uh disk space is available what are the partitions everything you can simply use df hyphen h okay f disk is an advanced command there are a lot it's not just time in the list option there are a lot of other options associated with it okay and uh next is uh so we have discussed about disk operating system cpu architecture host name etc now we are going to do how to check the cpu okay what type of what is the cpu inside this so there is something called cat so it's a file okay so cat proc cpu info so once again i am repeating it is cat proc cpu info this gives you the processor the cpu information and here if you see we have two processors okay one two okay two processors and at least time in the processor details whatever is the processor details associated with each process okay this give, gives you the cpu information of the particular machine and you can see the type of processor as well intel core i5 this is the cpu inside this okay so depending upon the type of chip you have you will get it get the details next is memory similar to cpu another important thing is memory meminfo so if you type slash proc slash meminfo it gives you the memory details the mem total this is in kb okay so this kb if you convert it into gb you will get 2 gb ram okay out of that like approximately this much is free right this many uh, so this much is free and availability like i mem available buffers cache swap all these memory related information is available using cat slash meminfo okay and a simple command to understand how much is a ram usage is free hyphen g okay so you will see the in because this gives us a lot of information and uh, if you just need the things quick 
okay uh, you can just use free hyphen g so this will give you the total memory used free okay swap how much is this is, is how much of uh, this memory is used as swap okay okay how much swap memory is used so this ram and the swap information you can even get it using free hyphen g command okay so now i think i mean we have covered uh, yeah so most of the basic information part now maybe like i mean we can even use there is something called htop and top command we'll discuss about uh, how to see then the processes running in this machine okay you can simply type top this give you the uh, the processes running in this machine so you can see the process id which user okay so then uh, it's like i mean the cpu percentage use memory percentage use okay uh so and like i mean the command that is running as part of it okay all these process let's say if you want to kill something okay you can take the process id by uh by typing top and this will be sorted in the order of like uh, the usage okay so you can see uh, something that is using 19.3 uh, percentage of cpu that is listed at the top 9.3 second okay four later so it is sorted in the order of cpu and memory usage and you will add you can identify all the processes and you can scroll down as well so using the keyboard apparel down arrow you can scroll down and see all the processes uh, running in this machine and the summary is listed at the top you can see the total task running sleeping all those information you can see it at the top okay similar command is htop okay so htop is another command this uses like a colorful thing and it also gives a detailed command okay the other one was just giving like some high level command but this was giving like i mean the detailed command and also it gives like uh, a graphical uh, look and feel okay and you it gives like how much of uh, cpu and as we have seen this this has two processors okay so two processors how much of cpu is used in this two processors how much of memory is used how much of swap is used okay how what's up time total task and the process related information as well so htop is also another command to understand more about the processor running in this machine and in general one more command that i'll introduce or uh, i mean discuss is the uh, so there is something called in linux we have some one command called uh, Appro apropos okay so a p r o p o s so this command what it will do is this will help you to let's say you wanted to check something okay so for example we wanted to check the usb i wanted to know more about the usb devices associated with this machine so i don't know the command i forgot okay so what we need to do is if you know this apropos command then you can just type apropos and then the keyword that you want okay that you are looking for let's say we are we want to understand something about usb so i just type usb okay so then it will list all the commands which is related to usb that is possible in this machine so you can see ls usb list the usb devices okay that solved the my problem okay ls usb you can see it list the usb devices as attached with this machine okay so maybe disk okay similarly uh, apropos i am just typing disk i want to do understand the disk related so there are a lot of disk related command that's why if you see cg disk crypto disk it's it is listing a lot okay u disk okay so sf disk sync so many commands are there with related to disk okay so in this way so anything if you don't know a specific or if you forgot a specific command then you can use this apropos command to understand or identify the Fire that particular uh, command in that machine. Okay, so I hope this uh, uh, video is useful because I think I mean because I have uh, during my initial days of career, so I have struggled a lot because uh, that time like I mean uh, the place where I was using Linux machine, there was no internet. Okay, so for me it was a struggle to uh, find out the commands and understand the system. Okay, and it was kind of a black box for me, so I struggled a lot. Uh, to understand about the system and the commands that i explain here are some of those i i learned through the uh, during the struggle period okay i hope this example is useful so if you have any feedback or comments or questions feel free to comment below the video i'll definitely respond back thank you thank you very much for watching this video